Remarketing is unnecessary to use on your Facebook ads in 2023. Let me explain. In this video, I'm gonna dive into why we actually recommend not using remarketing on Facebook ads if you don't have to. And it's because you may be better off without it. However, if you do choose to use remarketing, I'm gonna go over our best practices teaching you how to use it most effectively because there are instances where it makes sense. In the past several years, ever since the release of Apple's iOS 14.5 update, a lot has changed on Facebook ads. If you don't know what the implications of this update were, it essentially limited Facebook's ability to track web conversion events properly. The truth is that Facebook's custom audiences have been significantly less effective ever since. And that's why our remarketing audiences are not fully populating with our customer data. I want to begin by pointing something out. Facebook is already remarketing in your prospecting campaigns. If you don't believe me, look at your frequency. If it's above a one, that means that your users are being served ads within that campaign multiple times. And that's all that remarketing is. The truth is that Facebook is trying to get you conversions within that very prospecting campaign. After all, that's what the campaign's objective is. To prove this further, there used to be a feature called the inspect tool on Facebook that would let you look at the campaign's first time impression ratio. This tool was recently revoked from Facebook ads for an unknown reason, but it used to show the percentage of your impressions that were being served an ad for the first time versus those were being hit with a second remarketing touch point. So you may be asking, why does this mean to remove remarketing altogether from my ad account? It's because you want to make sure that the ad spend in your remarketing campaign is going to actually provide you incremental conversions. If a customer would have converted anyways without that extra remarketing touch point, then you may be wasting your ad spend. This lets you consolidate your learnings per ad set and lets the machine learning get infinitely smarter and better at acquiring customers over time. Using broad targeting, if you can get that to work at your desired CPA or whatever KPIs you're looking for for your business, you can scale infinitely further than a remarketing campaign ever could. It's also worth noting that Facebook over the past several years has rolled out features like Advantage Plus Audience Expansion. And this feature allows Facebook to go outside of your custom targeting to find performance. This used to be an optional button, but now it's automatically applied to every campaign. This is really important to note because even if you're using a remarketing audience or an interest audience or a lookalike audience, any custom audience, Facebook can just do whatever it wants and go outside of it if it thinks it's going to find you better performance. Understanding this is important and why it may be frustrating that Facebook is telling you, hey, I'm going to go outside of your audience targeting if I want to to find your performance. You want to embrace these best practices. So what does it look like to run an ad account without remarketing? I want to introduce you to what we call an acquisition campaign. This is best practice for our ad accounts and it's what we use a majority of the time. Our standard is a cost capped SKU specific CBO campaign utilizing broad targeting and the seven day click attribution setting. Now our exclusions are actually what makes the acquisition campaign type particularly unique. Acquisition campaigns only exclude pixel purchasers 180 days and a customer export list. They exclude past purchasers so that Facebook has the freedom to remarket within that same campaign and let it find the best performance for you. In my eyes, if I can get my acquisition campaign to acquire customers for the same price or cheaper than my remarketing campaign, then at that point, I'm able to scale exponentially further and I'm just wasting money on remarketing. Make sure that all of your ads aren't completely identical because that's going to give your users a very boring experience with your brand. Every ad you create should try to speak to the customer where they are in their customer journey and show them how your product is going to fulfill their desires with a purchase. What I'm trying to say is don't be afraid to have your remarketing style ads within your prospecting or acquisition campaigns because Facebook is smart and it will know to serve which ad to what user at a given time. Now, I want to point out three exceptions where you may think about using a remarketing audience. I think it's okay even when using an acquisition campaign to use a remarketing DPA or dynamic product ad. Dynamically show users which products it thinks they're most likely to convert by seeing based off their previous actions on your website and add to carts. Cool tip is you can use the breakdown tool at the top right of Facebook Ads Manager and then click on something that says product ID. This is really useful as a product research tool because it'll show you over a given time period which products are getting the most spend and therefore which products have the most demand from your customers at a given time. Second exception to using remarketing is if you have a particular sale offer that you don't think is going to resonate very well with a very cold prospecting audience, then it may be worth testing out remarketing. An example of an offer like this may be a rewards or points sale. I would use your website visitors 15 to 30 days and use a cost cap to regulate your CPA. However, if you're using an acquisition campaign, I would start acquisition and then if performance is not great after a few days, you can always pivot to a remarketing campaign. Third and final reason to use remarketing is if you have reason to believe that Facebook is significantly
significantly over serving to your existing customers. If that's the case, then I would use hard exclusions all the time, meaning that you're excluding your remarketing audiences within your prospecting campaign. And you can still choose to do this even if you're not using remarketing. Lastly, I wanna show you a standard setup for our remarketing campaigns, as well as what your prospecting campaigns should look like if you choose to use remarketing. Make sure you're targeting your website visitors for the past 30 days. I personally also like to include view content, add to cart, and initiate checkout of the past 30 days. You can also include your IG and Facebook engagers if you choose to do so, and all emails not bounced. Now, it's important to note that the more you spend, the larger your remarketing pool will be. The more you spend and the larger your remarketing audience gets, the smaller time window that you can target your customers within. I mentioned to use 30 days, but you may want to even try a smaller time window if you think that you can warrant it. Great way to tell how large your audience is is to look at your frequency. And if it's too high, then that means your audience is too small. If you are using remarketing, make sure that you're not using acquisition and that you switch to cold prospecting exclusions so you don't have cross attribution issues, which essentially just means that the campaigns are fighting over purchases. Our prospecting setup will exclude everything that we're targeting within our remarketing campaign, while also excluding pixel purchasers 180 days as well as a customer export list of 180 days as well. And for your remarketing campaigns, make sure that you're using a seven day click or one day click attribution setting. Removing that view based attribution setting for remarketing is vital because Facebook tends to lean very heavy on view attribution for remarketing campaigns. And that's since most people have already viewed your products or been to your website before. I hope this helps you understand remarketing in 2023 and what the pros and cons of using it in your ad account are. So to wrap up, here's the TLDR of this video. Consolidate the learnings of each campaigns by using an acquisition campaign and no remarketing. But that Facebook remarkets automatically within your existing campaigns. If you want to use remarketing at all, only use a DPA or a dynamic product app. Make sure that you watch your frequency closely and make sure you're using the proper time window. And that's all for me today. Thanks so much for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. We'll be sure to answer everything below. And consider subscribing for more content just like this. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.